Hey everybody, welcome back to my Minecraft Survival World. Welcome to episode 38. So far that you're here and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's get started and jump right into today's video, shall we? As you can tell, I'm still not feeling all that good. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get through this video so I can get it out. I, I haven't been in front of the computer in a bit. Basically what we're going to do today involve something in this picture. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you just yet. However, we are going to head over to the mob farm because I've done some work over there. I actually did some, some redstone-y work and, and um, under bits of what we're going to work on today. It's, uh, it's pretty much almost done, but I wanted to explain it and... Um, and show it to you and get a video out. So yeah, with that being said, let's go take a look at what I've been up to. So yeah, there we go. It's it's kind of coming into view. But yeah, I've added some things to it, and I've I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I'll be honest with you. I I mean, here's this farm right. Yeah, there's where, right over there is where the garden farm is. So I thought to myself, well, <clears throat> how cool would it be if I had some prismarine? Ow. Oh. If I had some prismarine on this build. And I kind of did this whole tower here in prismarine. Whoa. And I took it all down. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. Um, the only thing I kept is the sea lanterns. And it's just simply, it, it looks cool at nighttime when it's kind of lit all, all lit up. Um, but yeah, basically what I did, so I came up with a pattern uh, with cobblestone steps that... Uh, it kind of starts down here, and then it's just back and forth, all the way up to the top. And it comes across the same way on top as it does in the bottom. Um, not exactly sure. I did not plan that. I did not make this tower a specific height so this would work. It just did. And I'm happy. <laughs> um, I also, I tried different things. I really did. I tried putting... Just the prismary wall in here looked terrible. I tried using cobblestone, a uh, mossy cobblestone wall. It didn't look horrific, but I didn't like it. I like this corner. I even tried using um, uh, andesite wall. It it just it was too much like this gray and I wanted some of this gray because you know I mean there's a large portion of gray up there there's still some well I kind of really did a lot of work on that but uh yeah so and I put cobblestone stairs all around the top bit there just to to have it um a little accent to it I did start putting cobblestone wall on this part here. Hated it. It was too much cobblestone. So I went back to brick and I just did this bit up here. And yeah, so I'm loving it um, so much. We'll go down here quick. Um, basically, I've got this thing set up now where all my bits are... I mean, uh, doing a lot of work over here. Uh, I, I I really wish I was like working on my second row there, but um, but yeah, basically. Uh, oh, I'm not even sure what's supposed to be going in there. Uh, um, but I do know. Oh, s sticks. That's what's going in there. But right here, as you can tell. Oh, I am destroying all the arrows. 
I have so many arrows already from the skeletal department. Don't need no more. So I have them coming through, getting sorted out, going into the hopper and into the system right here just to be destroyed. This is what's left. Actually, I could probably take the sticks and the glowstone powder too and have it just come to here because I'm never going to fill this chest. It's just it's a double chest sitting up here. Never going to fill it up. Um, but I was looking for some, some way of trying to make it about the same length, and it just all of a sudden didn't. So whatever. Um, here I added some cobble, uh, brick wall around it just to make the area bigger so it balances out with what's going on up there. Uh, I have, as you can see, scaffolding going all the way up there with Elytra. If you're on a ladder and you look down, it's not, I've done this before. <laughs> I would do it again. But you start going up there and all of a sudden, boom, you're down here and you're dead because your Elytra deployed and you look down like a fool and you just zoom straight to the ground and yeah, splat. Um, so I'm, I'm going with scaffolding all the way up. I've got glass in front of it so you can turn around this way and look at the build as you're going up and don't it look pretty. Oh yeah, I put some uh, cobblestone around the edge of that too. But you get up here like I said I was going to do, got an AFK fish farm up here. And I left a little area here, so yes, I know, I know. This thing makes a lot of noise. But when you're AFK fishing, you don't really hear it, do you? <laughs> um, oh, look at all those. <laughs> See, I wish all the spiders would always come off, but they don't. Um, not sure how to, yeah. Don't really need to fix it. Um, but yeah, I threw an AFK fish farm in here so I can AFK fish, have that thing running, basically two things at one time. Uh, and down here, this ain't nothing special. It's just all my bits go basically in here and then I'm going to basically sort out these. I got eight chests here. Um, I found that if I do like an overnight session, I don't, I fill up maybe seven HS sometimes. So I'm basically, I'm, I'm pretty good with the HS and then I'll take out the things that I want. I'll sort it on here. I'll, I'll eventually put, uh, item frames on here with, uh, what's going on. And then I'm, I didn't finish it. I kind of. <sighs> ran out of juice to be quite frank with you um but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put some kind of dispensing uh thing in here probably something like what's down there it would be the easiest thing to do um but yeah i'm gonna throw something here Actually, I'm going to have to run it this way, and I, I'm going to have to move that. <laughs> I, I have cave fish just to make sure it worked. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yeah, so that's what I've been up to. And I can come down here. I have a little landing area. Oh, so once I'm done sorting and everything, I can fly away. So that's the mob farm. Um, let's head back in. I, and, you know, I don't know. I, I think it turned out really good. I was trying to get away from all the gray. But honestly, I couldn't come up with anything that I really liked. Um, like I said, I tried the prismarine. I tried a bunch of different blocks. And nothing, nothing looked good with it. But anyways, I bet you can tell where we're going. <laughs> Uh, it's not quite finished yet. Uh, I've been over here <clears throat> a little bit yesterday and today for a bit. Um, 
probably going to have to be going relatively soon because I feel like all my energy is gone again. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I've got it actually starting to work now. Uh, I'm going to get some more shears. I don't know. I think I might get some shears and put on braking on them. I mean, it's not like I don't have the levels. <laughs> um, and, you know, you get unbreaking from... Uh, I think, actually, if you enchant shears, that's but pretty much the only thing you can get on them. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check. I don't know if you can enchant shears or not, and if you can... I think it used to be, or maybe that was on the Xbox. It was like um, you could only enchant it with unbreaking, and you could put mending on it. But <laughs> really, um, actually, there was a couple worlds I did. I had so many mending books from trading with villagers that I put mending on my shears, and I'd go and take it to my AFK fish, uh, not my fish farm, my skeleton farm, or whatever farm we were using at the time and you, like say when you go to the uh, skeleton farm whack it one time <laughs> with like 10 skeletons in there you could fix up two shears for man <laughs> so yeah um, I basically I got this big corral here I wanted something I want to finish up this area up here <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some cow pastures up here as well. Um, some roads. I'm not... Yeah, you know, I was going to put a church up here. I'm thinking, again, I'm kind of against that idea. It's like, you know, there's going to be like the sheep pen and the sheep pasture here. I'll put a cow pasture over on that side. Uh, put some buildings up in here. I'm not, you know, 100% sure. But anyways, I mean, as you can see, I got a bunch of naked sheep. <laughs> Sorry, guys, gals. I, I, I won't look, really. Um, and then I have one of each color on the outside. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of, you got a little bit of color going on. And you know what this is. This rock over here. Uh, Y'all saw me build this. Yeah, well. Uh, I hollowed it out. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, so I made myself a little tunnel to the rock. I see, I, yeah, I, I kind of started over here and I dug my way until I was right where I wanted to be here. And yeah. And I just fixed up the walls here. And holy cow, look at that. This thing has only been running for just a little bit. Five, maybe five minutes I, I put the shears in there. Holy cow. But yeah, this will fill up. I mean, it's not going to fill up rapidly. But when it does, I can come in here. And then I have shocker boxes, all the different colors. So I can come in here and grab the white out of there. Put them in white. When these boxes are full, I will just take those and put them in the storage at the house. And when I get empty, I can come back over here. There should be enough in here. And somehow, I may or may not uh, do some kind of overflow protection. I'm not sure. But I'm sure that everybody knows how one of these farms works. But if not, basically you have a bunch of hoppers. I used to be hoppers. Um, I've seen people use one. I like three because if it's got more stuff in it, when it goes over here, when it crosses three hoppers, it tends to take all of it out. So it doesn't have stuff in it as it's going around again. I don't need all of this powered rail here, but ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> whoops! <laughs> now that I said that, 
Oh my God, that is going to so bother me. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back and fix that. Um, but I just wanted to have, you know, enough speed that it's going to make these turns, especially down here. And yeah, I'm, like I said, you don't need all of this powered rail. You'd probably be sufficient with one right after the turn, a couple in the middle, another one down here to make the other turn. So if you're, you know, trying to not use up all of your gold and stuff, then by, by all means. But I have a little way to get up here. And, and there's my shears in there. As you can tell, they're just starting to be used. But anyways, I mean, like I said, I'm sure that people know, but if not, there is... Whoop. Dang it. New keyboard. I keep doing it. And it's really starting to irritate me. Okay. So you have an observer down here. And the observer is facing, looking at the block of grass. So when that changes, it's going to turn into grass. And then the sheep will eat it. when, it, And it will get uh, wool back. See, as soon as this one turns to grass, the sheep will eat the grass. This observer will see the change and, and see that it went from a dirt block to a grass block. It will fire off a signal, which lights this up, lights up this redstone, and fires this dispenser that has your shears in it. So, real easy. I mean, piece of cake to build. Oh, I don't, don't think... Well, no, I know there will not be any mobs in here or down there or anywhere in the tunnel. It's just way too well lit up. I don't want to have any incidents where I come in here and, I don't know, say there's a creeper and blow me up. No, 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 no. Can't have that. That is going to bother me really, really bad. I just don't have any more rail on me right here. <laughs> but for now, let's uh, head back up there and take a look at this. See if we can't uh, put build this thing out all the way and finally be done with it. <laughs> Um, as you can tell, I have used acacia fencing in other places, but I'm starting to use um, oak. I used oak all along the side of this mountain. I used oak coming up to this point a long time ago. And it just takes so much to, to so much cutting down of acacia to get enough to make acacia fencing that I felt that I'm going to start transitioning over to the oak. So, yeah, um, that's why that's going on like that. Now, I want to try to build something here. Um, I want to kind of make it look like that roof over there. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna let you go for a minute, and I'm going to... Uh, Go and take a look at that and see if I can't figure out where to start here so I can potentially keep glass there and get a roof on here. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, all right. Bring it back in. I got the roof on. <clears throat> and I kind of bypassed that area. I'll show you that on my way down. I'm just putting the last finishing touches up here. Got a couple fences in here. Put some stairs into the lower slab floor so it sticks up a little bit. It gives it the impression that you have some ventilation. <laughs> um, yeah, probably going to need it. Um, I don't really need any light up here. Just it'll look nice. Um, Yeah. Then here, basically, I ran this 
the stair all the way around. Then I put stairs every other one. You know, I keep thinking that's a creeper down there. <laughs> um, dude, you, you, you might end up getting dead. Um, yeah, freaking me out a little bit. And he keeps staring at me. Um, and then, like I said, I, I ran that up to this point, and I put some bottom half slabs here and did that little bit of detail on the top. Basically, it kind of looks like that. Um, I didn't have... These things aren't long enough to do exactly the same detail I did there. Plus, I wasn't going to have the smoke coming out. So, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it turned out better than what I thought it was going to, actually. Yeah. I mean, you take a step back. That that looks pretty cool. It looks like it belongs on a farm, you know. It's like have some lighting up there just to light up the, the build a little bit. And... Yeah, it's simple, sweet. Looks like a, a, a build that you would find on a bar, uh, at a farm. <clears throat> um, I mean, basically, you know that we got the barn down there. And we had, I was initially going to build this, like, right down there. And every way I looked at it, there just wasn't room. Um, and then I remembered that I put shepherds up in this building, I guess that makes complete sense that they're here. This should be here. Um, this side, I, I kind of just kind of went a little wacky doodles with the fence. Um, as for this side, it's pretty much straight. And I kind of did that. I guess I could have came up and, and I might still do that. I, I might actually go around that edge. And then I'm going to come back in here and, but I will come back in here and I will put in here some, some coarse dirt, some path blocks, um, light it up with some leaves in the ground and stuff like that. Just, and I'll put some stuff out here, um, like hay troughs and water troughs and stuff. So they have somewhere to go and eat and drink. All right. All right. We're back. I uh, continued this path. Okay. Comes up the side of the mountain, use some more fencing, some uh, lanterns along the way, light this area up. Um, got some bone meal, <clears throat> I bone meal the area around here. I, I'm not going to do this until I get that kind of building stuff done. Put some hay bales in there, like I said. Hmm, I need a grass block. Um, got some water troughs that they like to. Well, I don't know. Dance on. <gasps> and escape. <laughs> now, there's there's some actual sheep around here that kind of got away from me, breeding them up and stuff. But, yeah, I got a couple little bit of leaves there, a little bit overgrown area, uh, path block, coarse dirt, uh, lots of areas like that where I've got leaves in the ground here to light it up. So... I walked around pretty good. I'm fairly confident that the area in there is spawn proof. Um, yeah. I'm probably not ever going to go back in there again. I mean, the only thing I have to do really is go over here and go down my door. So I should really maybe... Uh, we'll put a lantern right there. Keep keep this area lit up a bit. Put another one over there for the side of the mountain. Still have to do that. I have to make it so they either can't get up here, which would probably be easier. I might do that. Carve it down so there's a, a two-block jump. Like there, that's three blocks. There's two, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna try to light it up or or what. But that's where I'm gonna wrap this video up today. And as always, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that like button for this video. I truly appreciate both. 
Ring that bell so you get notified the next time I upload a video. And from Soulful to you. Thanks for watching and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day, dudes and dudettes. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a major fail. <laughs>